Greetings to all. This is Vikram from India. I am passing my PhD in IIT Madras. Today I am going to give a presentation on invasive species Prosopis dolifera derived carbon biomass SNO2 based hazardous SNO2 gas sensor. Uh, this is my outline of the talk. I will start with introduction. Then I will list out the types of gas sensors. Then I will discuss on the significance of metal oxide gas sensors and I'll, then importance of carbon support. Then why we have chosen the surface dolifera of, of this particular work. Then synthesis of biomass as NO2 nanocomposites. Later we will discuss about the physical characterization of the XRD, TGA and SEM. Then fabrication and testing of gas sensors with its mechanisms. Finally, I will list uh, conclusions and reference. Next, uh, introduction. As we all know, uh, growth of the industrialization and the increase in the number of vehicles in the roads will lead to the air pollutions, uh, particularly NO2, CO2 and SO2 are leads to the global warming and uh, climate change. This is the biggest challenge the human are facing now. Along with that, the human health is also get spoiled due to this air pollutions. The entire world is drafting the policies to control this air pollution. For that, uh, we have to evaluate the gas species in the atmosphere. For that, we need high efficient gas sensors. Hence, in the present work, we are discussing on the preparation of novel nanomaterials for the gas sensing application. There are different types of gas sensors are there such as metal oxides, electrochemical, capacitive, optical and calorimetric. Each has its own pros and cons. In the present work, we are going to uh, discuss on metal oxide gas sensors because of its excellent physical and chemical properties, then uh, it has better stability and good response in high temperature and harsh environments, which is good for practical applications. Other than this, metal oxides have wide band gap and provide full spectrum of electronic properties from insulator to semiconductor. These properties of the materials can be fine-tuned for applications requirement by various synthesis process. Commonly, metal oxides gas sensing materials are categorized into two types. One is N-type and the P-type materials. Um, in general, this metal oxides has high sensitivity and very low detection limits, even up to PPB. A parts per billion level. Next, we are discussing about the importance of carbon support. Although metal oxides are act, plays an active role in detecting the gas molecules, carbon support is also equally important in the gas sensor performance because as a metal oxides alone, its resistance is very high due to its less electron mobility and this leads to the high power consumptions. Whereas, when you decorate the metal oxides in the carbon support, its electron mobility is increased. This leads to the reduction in the resistance and finally, less power consumption. There are different carbon materials are available. One such is biomass derived carbon. In that row, we have chosen a plant species Prosophis dolifera and it is declared as an invasive alien plant species. It consumes groundwater of 3 billion meter cube per year and it literally disrupts the eco ecosystem functioning and services. It challenges the human, human to make a good use of this alien species. Hence, we have converted this into a biomass derived carbon and tested for the gas sensor applications. Here we have given the uh, synthesis process of the biomass SNO2 nanocomposites. Uh, initially, we will clean this prosopis uh, dolifera leaves and heat it to 800 degrees Celsius in organ atmosphere to get the carbonized biomass. Then we will dispose the sample in the ethylene glycol and, uh, and mix with the tin chloride salts and deflux in 120 degrees Celsius for 9 hours and filter it and dry it in 60 degrees Celsius to get final biomass SNO2. After preparing the Biomass SNO2 nanocomposites, we will carry out the physical characterization. Here we have given the XRD, uh, XRD dye fractions of pristine BML, uh, pristine carbonized uh, biomass leaves. 
In this, we can see the intense peak at 29.4 degree, which is corresponding to 104 plane in hitting the hexagonal force. In BML as a nano composite, uh, it constitutes the principal peaks of both SNO2 and BML, such as 110 and 104, which confirms the successful formation of BML SNO2. Then we have carried out the thermogravimetry analysis for both BML and BML SNO2 nanocomposites. Initial weight loss up to 110 degrees Celsius is because of the evaporation of water molecules in the samples. Then from 110 to 650 degree, degree Celsius, we have observed the huge weight loss. This is uh, categorized, uh, we have categorized into three different stages. In the first stage, the elimination of hemicellulose, tarry vapors of non-condensable gases and organic compounds such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and heavy hydrocarbons are removed. In stage two, decomposition of cellulose and lignins are taking place. In stage 3, there is a formation of CAR and decomposition of carbon in air atmosphere is taking place. Uh, the final difference in the residual weight percentage is 11.5% which is corresponding to the SNO2 nanocomposites, nanoparticle uh, weight percentage. Then we have carried out the scanning electron microscope for both uh, biocarbonized biomass leaves and biomass leaves with SNO2 nanocomposites. The semi-image of BML shows the wrinkles which helps in anchoring the SNO2 nanoparticles. IDAC shows the carbon peak. Then the BML SNO2 nanocomposites semi-image shows the uniform disposition of SNO2 nanoparticle on the BML layer. And this uh, IDAC confirms the presence of SN, oxygen and with the prepared samples, we are fabricating the gas sensors by disposing the sample with the ethanol and drop casted on the glass slides and kept the sensor in the gas chamber and taken the electrical connections in the interface to the K3 instruments and the gas flow like 0R, NO2 are controlled using the mass flow controller as shown in the figures. As shown in the figures. One is for NO2, another one is for 0R. Here we have shown the response of BML SNO2 against NO2. We have carried out the experiment by varying the concentration from 10 ppm to 90 ppm. Then we expose the BML SNO2 composite to the NO2 gas. We have observed the uh, decrease in the resistance of the sample. At the same time, uh, magnitude of change in resistance is increasing with the increase in the concentration of the NO2 gas. We observe the maximum sensitivity of 31% for 90 ppm of NO2 gas at 50 degrees Celsius. So far we have uh, seen the response of uh, uh, BML SO2 nanocomposites. Let's see the what is the mechanism involved in the uh, gas sensing applications. Such prepared gas sensor uh, without any NO2 gas atmosphere, oxygen molecules present in the atmosphere will get absorbed on the materials and reduce due to its high electronegativity and form the depletion layer. This depletion layers are there, there, there will be two depletion layers. One is on the surface of the SNO2, another is on between the SNO2 nanoparticle and the BML layer. As we all know, this NO2 gas is a highly oxidizing gas, so that it's injecting the electrons into the metal oxide nanocomposites and it reflects in the uh, reduction in the sensor's resistance. It should be noted that uh, in BML SNO2 nanocomposites, PN heterojunction is formed between N-type SNO2 and P-type BML carbon support. Although BML carbon support is decorated with the N-type SNO2, it is assumed that carbon NO2 interaction provides in higher amount. Thus, BML SNO2 results in P-type response. 
in the conclusion uh, the invasive alien plant species prosopis jolifera is converted into useful carbon source material first point said then we have decorated the sno2 nanoparticles on the uh, biomass and its response is evaluated for the hazardous no2 gas sensing applications and it shows the excellent gas sensitivity of 31 percentage for 90 ppm of no2 gas at 50 degrees celsius in overall this work materialized the good use of biomass carbon from invasive plant species which is harmful to nature and demonstrated that this biomass carbon material is good candidate for gas sensor applications thank you these are all the few references